fantasy check-in time for the Toronto Raptors. Over the last couple of weeks, they are the best team in the NBA, of course, over the course of this season. Kyle Lowry, who started off really hot, was a top 10 player for the first couple of weeks of the season. That started to regress. We've seen his usage come down. We've seen his shooting percentages drop, which were really high to begin this season. That was all to be expected, and he's settling in now at a guy who's not that first-round player. Again, not really a surprise of that with Kyle Lowry, that there was going to be some sort of a drop-off. But solid enough production, still putting up a, a significant amount of assists, 8.7 over his last six games. Pascal Siakam, of course, the big surprise. He's still shooting fantastically, 64% from the field over his last seven games. That puts him inside the top 50. That is his largest contribution in terms of fantasy categories. In fact, the only other categories that he's a positive in are free throw percentage, where he's at 83%, and weirdly, 4.1 assists. Everything else is a below average contribution in those categories. Still a must roster guy, but it is really highly dependent on that field goal percentage. Jonas Valanciunas, prior to Wednesday's game, had been slumping a little bit, but still a 12-team league guy, while Serge Ibaka is a top 100 player. Whereas guys like Fred Van Vliet and Danny Green, they're both outside the top 130 for the last two weeks. They're guys that you stream in if you need threes, uh, and assist, you look at Van Vliet. If you want threes with those defensive numbers, Dan Green's your guy. But they're not must-roster or must-hold guys. The Jedi, Oji Ananobi, he's struggling after it. You know, playing well at the start of the season, came back uh, from a personal issue, and he's really struggling. I still like him long-term, and this is a real nadir of his value. And if you're looking to acquire him in a dynasty format, maybe now is the time to be to be inquiring there. While Delon Wright, not really able to regain any of the form that he had last season, still struggling outside the top 200 over the last couple of weeks, and playing only 15 minutes a night. We remember last season he was playing a lot at the 1, the 2, and the 3. Of course, with Kawhi and Danny Green in town, there's not as much need for DeLon to fill that same role. So his production is not at the same level that we'd seen from him in the past.